2.3 completing the square. From our earlier video of solving equations by factorisation, we showed that x plus 2 squared equals 9 is easy to solve because all we have to do is take the square roots of both sides and rearrange. The idea of completing the square is to get equations into this format to make them easy to solve. Question 1. x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 0. I need to get it into this format of x plus or minus something squared. Whatever the x term is, in this case 6, you divide that by 2, which gives us 3. So now we have x plus 3 all squared. But this will give us x squared plus 6x plus 9. And I didn't want the plus 9. So I need to take it away. That gives me x plus 3 all squared minus 9. And that will give me the x squared plus 6x I want. So x plus 3 all squared minus 9 plus 1 equals 0. Minus 9 plus 1 gives me minus 8. And if I add it to both sides, then x plus 3 all squared equals 8. Now, I need to take the square roots of both sides. So because this is squared, it just becomes x plus 3. So x plus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 8. You need to always remember the plus or minus because square roots have a positive and a negative answer. Taking 3 from both sides, x equals minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 8. I then have two answers. x equals minus 3 plus the square root of 8 or x equals minus 3 minus the square root of 8. I can manipulate the square root of 8 to give me minus 3 plus 2 root 2, or x equals minus 3 minus 2 root 2. Example 2. x squared minus 10x equals 5. Rearrange x squared minus 10x minus 5 equals 0. Now I need to get this bit, the x squared minus 10x, into the squared format. So, because it's minus 10, we divide that by 2. So we'll have x minus 5 all squared. Expanding that would give us x squared minus 10x plus 25. And I don't want the plus 25, so we take it back off again. So x plus 5 all squared minus 25 equals the x squared minus 10x that we wanted in the first place. So now, I have minus 25 minus 5 which will give me minus 30. So x minus 5 all squared minus 30 equals 0. Adding 30 to both sides, x minus 5 squared equals 30. I need to take the square root of both sides. Because this is squared, it will just become x minus 5. So x minus 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 30. Remember the plus or minus. Adding 5 to both sides gives me x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 30. So either x equals 5 plus the square root of 30, or x equals 5 minus the square root of 30. Question 3. x squared minus 3x minus 7 equals 0. I need to get this bit, the x squared minus 3x, into this format. We always use the x term, in this case minus 3, and divide it by 2. So x minus 3 over 2 all squared. When I expand this out, it will give me x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4, which is 3 over 2 squared. So I need to take it back off again. So x minus 3 over 2 all squared minus 9 over 4 will give me the x squared minus 3x that I need. So now I need to do minus 9 over 4 minus 7. In order to do that, I need to put them under the same denominator. So 7 is the same as 28 over 4. Minus 9 over 4 minus 28 over 4 will give me minus 37 over 4. So x minus 3 over 2 all squared minus 37 over 4 equals 0. Rearranging x minus 3 over 2 all squared will be equal to 37 over 4. I take the square root of both sides. So x minus 3 over 2 equals the square uh, plus or minus, remember that bit, the square root of 37 divided by 4. Rearranging x equals 3 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 37 over 4. Now the square root of 37 divided by 4 is the same as the square root of 37 divided by the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. 
So x equals 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 37 divided by 2. So x will be equal to 3 over 2 plus the square root of 37 over 2 or x will be equal to 3 over 2 minus the square root of 37 over 2. The last example. 5x squared plus 7x equals 2. I need to rearrange this. So 5x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals 0. I only want x squared. So I need to divide through by 5. So 5 divided by 5 will give me x squared. And I'd have 7 over 5 and 2 over 5. Now, I need to put this bit into this format. So 7 over 5 divided by 2 will give me 7 over 10. But this will give me x squared minus 7 over 5x, which I want. But it also gives me plus 49 over 100, which is 7 over 10 squared. So I need to take it back off again to get rid of it. And that will give me the x squared plus 7 over 5x. Now, I need to put, in order to take 49 over 100, take 2 over 5, I need to change this so they have the same denominator. So, x plus 7 over 10, all squared, minus 49 over 100, minus 40 over 100. This will give me x plus 7 over 10 squared, minus 89 over 100, equals 0. Rearranging, x plus 7 over 10 squared, equals 89 over 100, and then I take the square root of both sides. So x equals 7 over 10 plus or minus the square root of 89 over 100. Rearranging, x equals minus 7 over 10 plus or minus the square root of 89 over 100. The square root of 89 over 100 is the same as the square root of 89 divided by the square root of 100, which is 10. So x equals minus 7 over 10 plus or minus the square root of 89 divided by 10. So x equals minus 7 over 10 plus the square root of 89 over 10, or x equals minus 7 over 10 minus the square root of 89 over 10.